What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Technology G back with another video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about the proper and the purpose and the proper use of software. So in this video, you will learn about the purpose and the proper use of software when it comes to productivity software, collaboration software and business software. All right. So let's get this slideshow started. All right. So productivity software is application software used for producing information such as documents, presentations, worksheets, databases, charts, graphs, digital paintings, electronic music and digital video. Many of these apps are sold as suites, which are collections of productivity software from a single vendor that usually share similar menu systems, file types and other features. A typical office productivity suite includes a word processing program, a spreadsheet program, a presentation program, and might also include other apps. Some apps are also available individually. The most popular office productivity software suite is Microsoft Office, which is also available in subscription form known as Microsoft Office 365. Let's talk about word processing software. So a word processor is a software or a device that allows users to edit, uh, create, edit and print documents. It enables you to write text stored electronically, display it on the screen, modify it by entering commands and characters from the keyboard and printed. Word processing programs can also apply text formatting such as bold, italic and different fonts and font sizes, change layouts, mail merge with external data and save files that can be used with the same or other word processing or other apps. Proofing, research, markup, macro creation and other features are often included. Support for plugins, which are small programs that add additional features, enables word processing programs to perform more tasks. Microsoft Word is an example of a word processing software. Talk about spreadsheet software. So spreadsheet software is defined as a type of computer program that helps a user perform numerical functions and analyze numbers through a computerized version of an accounting worksheet. A spreadsheet program enables the user to enter numeric or text data and formulas into cells. Cells can be formulated in a variety of ways. The data in cells can also be used to create various types of charts by altering data Various scenarios can be tested. Spreadsheet files can also be used as databases or sources for mail merging and can be filtered to find information that matches users defined criteria. An example of spreadsheet software is Microsoft Excel. Let's talk about presentation software. Presentation software is a software package used to display information in the form of a slideshow. It has three major functions, an editor that allows text to be inserted and formatted, a method for inserting and manipulating graphic images, and a slideshow system to display the content. Microsoft PowerPoint is an example of presentation software. Let's talk about web browsers. A web browser is a software program that allows users to locate, access, and display web pages. Browsers are used primarily for displaying and accessing websites on the internet, as well as other content creating, content created using languages such as hypertext markup language, also known as HTML, and extensible markup language known as XML. Browsers translate web pages and websites delivered through HTTP into human readable content. They also have the ability to display other protocols and prefixes such as HTTPS, FTP, known as file transfer protocol, email handling and files. There are more than 1.3 billion websites on the Internet, which is also known as the network of networks. They host billions of web pages offering information contests, social media connections, shopping, banking and unfortunately malware. Web browsers are included in Microsoft Windows, known as Edge or the Internet Explorer. It's called Safari and Mac and Linux distributions that include GUI. They have uh, their, their Internet web browsers vary. And then they also offer web browsers in Android and iOS mobile operating systems. 
Many third party browsers are also available, such as Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox and Opera. All, all of them work with Windows, Mac and Linux. Um, there are also many variations based on Firefox that are available for desktop and mobile operating systems. Visual diagramming software allows users to create detailed diagrams out of data and images. If you need to create a flow chart, network diagram, electrical diagram, floor layout or organizational chart, you will have a much easier time using a specialized diagramming program than trying to use a conventional paint or draw program such as Microsoft Paint. Visual diagramming programs include predefined shapes, uh, libraries and templates, automatic connections between shapes, and connections to the external data sources. Some are designed for use online. Some visual diagramming software products include Microsoft Visio, Synergix, uh, Creately, and Gliffy. Let's talk about collaboration software. So collaboration software or groupware is application software designed to help people working on a common task to attain their goals. Collaboration software enables the sharing, processing, and management of files, documents, and other data types among several users and or systems. Whether you work with just a handful of people or hundreds, collaboration software enables you and your coworkers to stay in touch with face-to-face -face voice or text exchanges. Client email or email client. Email client is a desktop application that enables configuring of one or more email addresses to receive, read, compose, and send emails from the email address through the desktop interface. It provides a central interface for receiving, composing, and sending emails of configured email addresses. Email client is also known as an email reader or mail user agent. Although most email services can be used with a web browser, Using only a web browser for email means that backups, encryption, and filtering are more limited or they are simply not available. Most email services now enable you to use both web-based email and an email client program so you can stay in touch while online and enjoy the extra benefits of an email client. To keep you protected from harmful emails, many clients today also feature protection functions that block harmful messages and protect your system from questionable attachments. Email clients use protocols such as SMTP, POP3, and IMAP to send and receive email. Some popular email clients include Microsoft Outlook and Windows 10 Mail. Conferencing software is a tool used by two or more parties to communicate via video and audio using an internet connection. It enables the parties to initiate and conduct live conferences and remote meetings by transmitting audio, video, and text. Conferencing software typically combines live text chat, live video, shared desktops, and shared programs. Some conferencing programs also support webcasts in which the presentation is streamed to thousands of viewers and is also recorded for future viewing. A webinar, on the other hand, is for a smaller group of viewers and has similar interactive features to a conference. The vast majority of conferencing programs are commercial products using proprietary technology. Most of them support Windows, Mac and Linux, and a large number have mobile apps for iOS and Android. Some examples are GoToMeeting and WebEx. Instant messaging, also known as IM, is a messaging uh, is a message directly sent from one person to another. IM software was designed for text chats, text chats originally, but can receive files, perform video chats with audio, and allow multiple users to chat with each other at the same time. Examples are Skype and WhatsApp. Uh, organizations that allow users to bring your own app, also known as BYOA, for instant messaging can be exposed to security risks if unauthorized data or information is transmitted. Adopting a corporate IM standard app combined with guidelines and data protection settings can help avoid IM problems. Online workspace and online workspace is exactly as the name suggests. It is a centralized environment 
which can be found through the internet to be used for groups of users that need access to the same content. An online workspace allows users to work together by providing shared access to tasks, calendars, file storage, feedback, organizational charts, email, and other features. This is a relatively new category made possible by widespread broadband internet access. Some examples are Bitrix 24 and Glass Cubes. Document sharing. So before document sharing services, organizations relied upon email for sending and receiving documents, but email often has limits on file size and mailbox size. And if a document needs to be accessed by one by uh, more than one person, the email must be sent and resent, making version management difficult. Organizations now use document sharing services. Some of these services provide a limited amount of cloud-based storage for free, uh, offer subscriptions for additional space, and provide easy access for different users to specific folders. Most use a simple drag and drop method for transferring files and can be, and can be integrated with the file management utility in the operating system. Popular document sharing services that offer free and subscription based services are Microsoft OneDrive, Dropbox and Google Docs. Business software is a software that is used for business purposes. The term is often used more specifically for software that helps a business to accomplish goals through the applied principles that the software supports. Types of business software include database software, project management software, business specific applications, and accounting software. Database software is a software program or utility used for creating, editing, and maintaining database files and records. This type of software allows users to store data in the form of structured fields, tables and columns, which can then be retrieved directly and or through programmatic access. Database software is also known as database management software or DBMS, although the terms are not exact synonyms. Often suites, uh, office suites, including database software, include Apache OpenOffice, LibreOffice, Microsoft Office Professional, Corel Word Perfect Office Professional and some editions of Microsoft Office 365. Program management software. So uh, project management software. So project management software is software used for project planning, scheduling, resource allocation and change management. It allows project managers, also known as PMs, stakeholders and users to control costs and managing and manage budgeting, quality management and documentation, and also may be used as an administration tool. Project management software is also used for collaboration and communication between project stakeholders. And that screenshot you were looking at an example of a Gantt chart. A Gantt chart is basically a chart that allows for you to set deadlines and milestones along the way until you reach your end objective for completing a task or a goal. Business specific applications. So business specific applications are software programs written to meet the specific requirements of a specific type of business. Some examples are electronic medical record software known as EMR, it manages patient records as well as tracks treatments, medical history, prescriptions, etc. Some apps include Epic and McKesson EMR. You have document management that converts paper documents into electronic records as well as provide search and retrieval tools. Some apps include OnlyOffice and Microsoft SharePoint Online. Employee scheduling enables efficient use of employee resources, vacation management and staffing to meet demand. Typical output includes calendars, apps include OpenSimSim Sim and T-Sheets. Resource management enables organizations to match and manage resources to meet specific needs. Similar in some ways to project management, apps include Float and Liquid Planner. Do you have supply chain management? Enables organizations to track the transformation of raw material into finished goods. Apps include Oracle NetSuite and Unleashed. Then we have point of sale system 
enables organizations to handle retail payments electronically and interface with accounting and inventory management software. Some apps include AMI SI or AIM SI and Corona. And then finally, we have accounting software. Accounting software describes a type of application software that records and processes accounting transactions within functional modules such as accounts payable, accounts receivable, journal, general ledger, payroll, and trial balance. It functions as an accounting information system. Examples of accounting apps for small and medium businesses include QuickBooks and Ledger SMB. So that is our class. Let's go ahead and jump into some check on learning. First question, your client has sent over a Gantt chart. Which type of app produced it? A Gantt chart. Would it be EMR, project management, accounting, or employee scheduling? Your client has sent over a Gantt chart. Which type of app produced this Gantt chart? The answer would be Project management. Remember a Gantt chart. I'll go back on the screen and show you. This is a screenshot of a Gantt chart. It allows for you to set dates and milestones of various tasks that need to be completed in order for your organization to meet certain deadlines or to complete a project in its totality. All right. Question two. Your client needs to make about one gigabyte worth of files available at all times to a team whose members live in various sites. Which of the following is the least expensive solution? Would it be document management? Would it be accounting? Would it be point of sale? Or would it be document sharing? So we need one gigabyte worth of files available at all times to people who live in different cities, which is the least expensive solution. The correct answer would be document sharing. Remember, document sharing is something like um, Google Drive or Google Docs, where they offer you either free and or paid subscriptions, depending upon how much storage you need. And you can access these documents through laptops, uh, tablets, phones, and various other computing devices. And final question. Your client is changing their business to become a retailer and a manufacturer. Which two types of apps would you recommend they consider? Would it be point of sale and document management apps? Would it be supply chain management and resource management? Would it be employee scheduling and document management or would it be point of sale and supply chain management? They are changing their business to become a retailer and a manufacturer. The correct answer would be point of sale and supply chain management. Remember, point of sale de deals with retail. You can think of the square where some people stick a little square device in their phone and they swipe their credit card to make a purchase that is considered a point of sale application and then supply chain management. If you recall that enables organizations to track information of raw materials into finished products. And that is what manufacturers do. So in summary, we have talked about the purpose and proper use of software where we discuss productivity software, collaboration software, and business software. So please visit my website, technologyg.com, so you can get read up on the latest and greatest pertaining to the proper, the purpose and the proper use of software to help you successfully pass your CompTIA IT Fundamentals Certification Exam. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.